Here's another event making news around the parish. In early June, St. Charles Parish government broke ground for the highly anticipated Ed Reed Park in St. Rose. St. Rose native and NFL Hall of Famer Ed Reed was in town for the event and spoke on the importance of having a safe environment for youth programming to help influence a positive path in life for the at-risk youth in the area. You know, it's a lot of love that's going into it. And um, it's a lot of love that, that got me to this far. And I know how beneficial it is to kids and families to congregate together. You know, we as a parish need to come together more often and uh, support each other, help each other, to be a better parish, to minimize crime. Those are the type of things just that we shouldn't tolerate. You know, there's just so much more I know we need to do. You know, I work with the kids here. You know, I know that we need to pump these kids to go to college. All shades, it don't matter the color. You know, it don't matter your last name. You know, all these kids should have an opportunity, you know, to be successful. A joint effort between the Ed Reed Foundation and St. Charles Parish Parks and Recreation, plans for the park include a 40 by 100 yard multi-purpose turf field, two basketball courts, a playground, a walking path, and picnic tables. This park, the Edward Reed Park, will provide an identity for the citizens here in St. Rose through Mr. Reed's hard work, his vision, his dedication to his community for many years to come. Being outside and playing at a park is a critical tool in the development of our youth. Children who spend time at a park and participate in parks and recreation program experienced improved physical health, improved emotional health, and improved mental health. Parks also provide great opportunities for parents to bond with their children, families to gather, and to meet and make new friends, which strengthens our community. The land for the park was purchased by Reed's Eye of the Hurricane Foundation, and while the parish will provide the infrastructure and maintain the park, the equipment will be provided by the foundation. And this is gonna be a milestone for the St. Rose community. It's very important for this community, but more so for the whole parish, because kids across the parish are gonna come here to enjoy the Ed Reed Park. The idea for the park, which has been in the works for nearly a decade, came to read after seeing a post on social media. An image of children playing in an abandoned and unsafe area motivated Reed to approach the parish. St. Rose has been without a park for years due to residential development in the area, and Reed attributes his success to the time he spent playing in the old park as a child. I grew up at the park. It was like family day at the park. You know, some of y'all probably remember those flag football games. That's where it started for me. Be like, man, you you doing all this stuff in the NFL. I did that stuff in the park. I did it in the park first. So we need this park. During the ceremony, parish officials, council members, and parks and recreation staff thanked Reed for his contribution and spoke on the excitement and anticipation for the long-awaited park. Several years ago, it had to be about maybe eight years or so, I would visit my office at the time I was at the courthouse during his off season and he said, I want to create a place for kids to play. They have nowhere to go. And again, I looked at him and I said, okay, let's make it happen. So through much hard work and dedication from St. Charles Parish Administration, both past and present, the Parks and Rec Department, Public Works Department, the Legal Department, the Ed Reed Foundation, the Elkinsville Association, all the engineers, all the contractors, this park is finally coming into fruition and we're so excited about that. We are thrilled about this park and we thank you, Edward, for having the vision to create something that is so special in the place that you and I both call home. It has taken a mountain, moving a mountain to get this established. And because of this young man right here, this park is going into this community where he grew up, where he played every day, and this community molded him to be the Hall of Famer he is today. And he has not forgotten that. That is, that is a big thing tonight that I want everyone to remember. You know, 
people do grow up and move on and forget their communities. Edward has not. This is where we're going to create your children, your family members. They're going to create memories for a lifetime. They're going to be talking about things that happen at this park for years to come. They're going to be telling their children what happened when they attended this park. Because I remember when I attended a park called Stallings Gym in the Ninth Ward. And I still have memories of that park. I still have memories of the things that we did there. And this is the same thing that we're going to get to experience here. But guess what? It's going to be even better here. I've been in office four years now. We've been talking about this same park. When is this park going to happen? So I can finally say it's going to happen now. Though inclement weather forced the actual ceremony indoors, skies cleared up to allow Reed, along with parish officials, to visit the site and see the area clear to prepare for construction. And this is huge. You know, it's a true blessing, you know, for us to be making moves towards putting the park in the neighborhood is huge, you know, and to see the land cleared off, that's, that's a big step, you know, but I know we got a few more miles to go, you know, so it's not, not slowing down now. St. Charles Parish and the Ed Reed Foundation hope to complete the park later in the fall, weather permitting. You can always come home. This place ain't gonna just float away and disappear. Push them to get away, man. Don't hold on to them. Let them get away from the house. Let them get away. We need this park, all of us, old and young. The kids are our future. They need an outlet. If we truly work together, because that was my vision for the park, we want to build this park for everybody to come together. We're stronger if we come together. This is not just Ed Reed's Park. This is our park. This is St. Road Park. So. For more information about this and other events going on throughout St. Charles Parish, visit www.stcharlesparish-la.gov.